you know, man, I've been doing this boxing talk stuff for a minute now, man. And I realized, like, in light of this uh, recent defeat of Deontay Wilder, we got this certain community that they call the conscious community now spilling their way into the boxing community. And um, it's crazy that this is happening right now because before I even did boxing talk, the videos I was doing was targeting the conscious community, man. I was doing a different type of uh, content and um, I was trying to just reach the people from my perspective, you know, uh, reach quote unquote my people in this conscious community, but a lot of them lost. And they are struggling with the same thing that I see in this YTBC, which is this race based stuff. You know, just because Deontay Wilder lost to a white boy, now everybody want to be a uh, conspiracy theorist and uh, come up with all kind of uh, reasons to prove that Tyson Fury cheated. No, Tyson Fury whooped Deontay Wilder ass. You know, um, I see this guy, Young Pharaoh, you know, who's also in the conscious community. I've, you know, been to lectures, seen this guy before. And um, I thought he was a solid dude starting out. And I just started to realize that this dude is about money. He loves money more than his people. And he gonna do whatever story, he gonna gravitate to whatever headline that he gotta gravitate to, to get that traffic so he can capitalize and hustle his uh, whatever live streams and shit like that, man. So that's why I got out of the conscious community. Uh, I was like, man, fuck this dumb shit because these motherfuckers is lost. They keep getting pimped by these motherfuckers that's just trying to take money from them. And I got on YTBC and this is really the same shit. You know, just on a different level. So a lot of motherfuckers like to use this race based shit in order to get the traffic to make money off you. And if a lot of y'all is dumb enough to to go ahead with that and waste y'all money, whatever, man. Burn your bread. Don't matter to me. But um, you know, this dude young Pharaoh, man, this ain't your lane over here, dog. Like, just because a black dude get his ass whooped, it don't mean that um this is a government move or some shit like that, man. You're not even into boxing. You don't know shit about boxing. Uh, you a Muay Thai guy or whatever you is, man, and that's cool. But man, stay in your lane, bro. Stay in the lane of uh, hustling the conscious community with your uh, whatever information, the, the pseudo stuff or whatever. But this is boxing, man. We stick to the sweet science, and um, you know, you can make up whatever kind of excuse you want, man. But the reality of it is, people that know boxing for real know that uh, Deontay Wilder can't box. So you can come up with whatever you want to come up with. It does not change the fact that Deontay Wilder cannot box. And um, he almost got put in a motherfucking box if they didn't stop that fight. So um, put out some videos on how Deontay Wilder need to better his technique. You know, Smith, since you're in the combat sports, young Pharaoh, talk about that. You know, don't just target. Don't just do the race based shit and target and say, oh, look at the black man. Whoop de whoop and the white guy, this, that. Look at the licking of the blood. And hey, man, that ain't even got shit to do with boxing. That motherfucker weirdo, but he whooped Deontay Wilder ass. So Deontay Wilder got whooped by the weird white guy. You know, so that's just the reality, man. And he didn't get cheated. You know what I mean? But uh, Deontay Wilder need to learn how to box. And um, y'all just watch out for these fake motherfuckers that's just coming into his YTBC now, man. Um, ever since Deontay Wilder got his ass whooped. You know what I mean? It ain't got nothing to do with no race, man. They're just a better boxer one. So uh, y'all just watch out for these motherfuckers because they're going to push out these racial narratives try to get that traffic from you and that money.